In the previous video, we have created the structure to create rules for our L system. Now we need to implement the L system itself. So let's go to scripts folder. Let's create a new C sharp class called L system generator. Let's open it up. Okay. And again, we can delete everything that Unity has pre created for us. This time, this class will be a mono behavior. So, what we need to do here is to create a public, an array of rules that we have created previously. Let's call it rules. So, this will be the space when we input all the rules that we want to use in this L system. Next, what we need else is an axiom. So, I will call it root sentence for, for clarity. So, let's call public string root sentence. Okay. So, we have this. And one more thing we need is a public int iteration limit. Let's set it to 1. And we can limit uh, how it is chosen by adding an attribute range. Let's set the range from 0 to 10. Okay. And that's basically it for now for the variables. Now what we need to do is have a method called generate sentence. So let's create public string generate sentence. And we can say that maybe we want to provide a word to this system. So let's type string word equals null. So what we want to check here is if our word variable or word attribute is equal to null, we are going to preset it word equals our root sentence. And we are going to call another method return a grow recursive. And we will pass here the word. Okay. And we can alt enter on this method and generate this method in this class. So this will be the only public method inside this L system generator. We will call this method to return the recursively created word from our L system based on the iteration limit. So let's think about how we want to create this recursive method. Usually when designing a recursive method, it's best to start from the end. So at some point we need to return this word variable. So let's say this word variable contains our finished word that we have generated from our system. So if our iteration limit, but uh, to what we are going to compare the iteration limit, we need to have an extra variable. So let's create an int iteration index, or you could call it the current iteration equals zero at the beginning. And we are going to compare if our iteration index is greater or equal to iteration limit we are going to say that we want to return the word so this is our output and uh, not iteration index twice iteration limit okay so we have returned from our recursive method the end word so for the zeroth iteration, we would return just what we got. So root, the root sentence or the word that we have provided. Okay, but how do we perform the recursion? Well, we certainly need to create a new string. For this, we are going to use a class called string builder. So let's type string builder. And, and we, if we have typed it correctly, we, call, we can alt enter on it and we can see using system.text. So string builder is a specialized class in the C# -sharp language that represents a string like object whose value is mutable because string value is immutable and you can see a big performance issues when you use a string for a massive word compared to using a string builder that's why we are going to call string builder equals new string builder okay and what do we do now well, we need to loop for each character in our word. So for each bar C in our word, 
we are going to loop through each character and we are going to say string builder or we could rename it to be more clear so control rr new word so this is much more clear now so our new word append and we are going to append c because as i have told you previously my implementation appends each character and adds the recursive part so we are going to add a new uh, method called process rules recursively and here we are going to pass our string builder instance so new word we're going to pass the character and we are going to pass the iteration index okay let's finish this and let's alt enter on this name to generate this method inside our class but there is one more thing that we need to add this if statement will, all, will only run if the iteration index is greater or equal to iteration limit so at some point when we reach the last iteration or if the iteration is zero iteration limit we will return this but if we have processed our string so our string builder uh, recursively we need to again return our new word and we are going to call to string to generate a string out of our string builder so last thing that we are left with is to implement this process rule recursively method so let's slide it down and here let's delete this throw statement and what we will need to do is call for each loop we're going to loop through each rule from our rules array so let's call rule in rules and what we need to do is to check if this rule or this rules letter is equal to our character and because letter is of type string we can either change this letter into character or to call c to string and we are going to compare two strings in this instance now what we need to do is now to call our new word and we are going to call append and if this fits our rule we need to call again grow recursive because this means that we have new symbols that we need to again process as long as we are below the limitation of the iteration index so we are going to call our rule and we need to get the new results so the new symbols that we want to add to our word so we call this get result and we need to pass the iteration index and we need to add to it one so we are going to loop through the next iteration and that's it but if you want to see how it works we need to slide up and implement a start method and here we are going to simply debug that log and we are going to call our generate sentence not passing anything here and this should output us the message at the start of playing the game in unity so let's go back to unity okay now wait for the l system generator to compile and now what we need to do is to right click in the hierarchy and create an empty game object let's rename it l system and we can drag to it our l system generator mono behavior great now we have space to put our rules so we can open up the folder called rules again click our system game object and drag our rule here so we have our rule and let's set for now iteration limit to zero and implement a, a sentence called a for example we can play now and it should output us a because we have zero iterations now our rule states that a will be changed into a b on first iteration so let's choose the first iteration and play the game now the output as i said previously will be appended 
So first was the A, now AB is appended. Now what we can check is what happens on the second iteration. So we had A, AB, and now it was A, AB, but because A is one of the rules, so we append in between AB again AB. And this is how the recursiveness of this algorithm will work. Now, of course, you could implement it a little bit differently to output you A, then AB, and then ABB. But for our implementation, this will work just fine. So to fully appreciate what we have done here, we will need to implement a simple visualization for our output of the L system. And that's what we are going to tackle in the next video.